Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day and enjoying again the beautiful sunshine that's out. Hope you also have been having fun learning about caterpillars and butterflies this week. And if, hopefully you've had a chance to do some of the activities we've sent you. If you do, send us a picture, we'd love to see it. So I'm gonna read you one of my favorite stories today. It's called A Wish for Wings. And it's just a really cute story about a caterpillar who grows up to be a butterfly. Carl Caterpillar's Wish for Wings. Carl Caterpillar felt sad. All day long, he sat munching on milkweed plant, watching all the high-flying creatures soar above him. Carl wished he could fly too. Being a caterpillar was okay, but caterpillars were just too slow. It took Carl hours just to crawl from one plant to the next. If only I could fly, he wished. It must feel great, and I could get those juicy milkweeds up on the hill. Carl loved milkweeds. He loved the crunchy green leaves and especially the creamy liquid inside. It was like eating a green apple and a milkshake all in one. While Carl was thinking, Holly Hummingbird flew up to his plant and hovered nearby. Hi, Carl, she hummed. How are you? Oh, okay, I guess, Carl sighed. Hey, Holly, how do you fly? Hmm, said Holly. This is a humdinger of a question. I guess I was just born to fly. Could you teach me how to fly, Carl asked. Carl, before you can fly, you have to change, Holly replied. What do you mean, Carl asked. Hmm, I'll tell you later, Holly said. I must be going. I've joined the church choir and I must, be, must practice humming my hymns for Sunday. No sooner had Holly left than Bobby Bumblebee came buzzing by. Hi, Carl, said the fuzzy bee. What's the buzz? Bobby asked Carl, you're a good flyer. Could you teach me to fly? That's one honey of a question, Carl. You see, I can't teach you to fly. You can't fly unless you have wings. But how can I get wings, Carl asked. Can I buy them someplace? You can't buy wings, Bobby said. They're a gift from God. But how can I get a gift of wings, Carl questioned. I guess you just ask God, the bee replied. Well, it's time for me to buzz off. See you later, Carl. And Carl chomped on his leaf as he watched Bobby fly away. Please, God, he prayed. Let me have wings like Bobby. Carl looked at his short green body to see if any wings were growing. Nothing happened. He waited a few more minutes, still nothing. Carl yawned as he watched the sun sink behind the mountains. Carl felt very sleepy. To make sure he got a good night's rest, he built himself a special sleeping bag called a chrysalis and hung it from a milkweed leaf. Then he snuggled into his chrysalis and dozed off. Carl woke up feeling brand new as if he had been born all over again. He didn't know he was asleep for two weeks. He yawned and stretched his wings. Wait a minute, he shouted. Where did these wings come from? Carl looked to the left and he looked to his right, admiring his beautiful orange wings. His wings felt a little wet, so he raised them toward the sun to dry. Carl's sunbathing was interrupted by familiar voices. Hey, Carl, come fly with us, called Holly and Bobby. Can I really fly now, he asked. Will these wings work? They sure will, Carl, Holly assured him. You've changed. In fact, you're not a caterpillar anymore. You're a butterfly. A butterfly, Carl shouted. Wow, God answered my prayer. Come on, Carl, Bobby called. This view is great from up here. I'll be right there, Carl said. I have to do something first. He bowed his head. Thank you, God, for answering my prayer, he said. With that, the brand new butterfly flapped his wings and soared into the sky to fly with his friends. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week on our Zoom show and tell meeting. Have a great weekend.